Hi everyone, Cindy Squirrel here. Well, I went to the farmer's market today because I wanted some beets. Now, when I grew beets, and my dad grows beets, we used to uh, plant the cylinder kind of beets and they're really long and <laughs> you'd get a lot from one beet. But this is what George had for sale and so I think I think there were three dollars a bundle and then I got some beans so that's ten dollars worth of fresh vegetables picked last night and I only want a couple of these just for supper tonight so I got out the fair book because fair time's coming this is just our local little town fair and I I put stuff in every year and this year I want to make more pickles than I did last year. I used to make a lot of pickles and that when I had the on-farm store and I haven't done it and my supply is like completely right out and plus I give them away now as Christmas presents to all my kids. So I looked in the fair book and under preserves and pickling, there are pickled beets. There we go. Guess what we're making today? Pickled beets. And guess what I'm gonna make tomorrow? Mixed, not mixed, mustard bean pickles. Now I used to make these all the time for a gentleman, uh, an older guy that lived behind me and he just loved them. And uh, I'm not a fan, but you know it is what it is so I'll make those probably tomorrow now I don't know if you ever participated in a local fair but it's a lot of fun you're not going to get rich like first prize is like four dollars well you know it is what it is it's the fun of it it's the competition of it and it's support supporting your local ag agricultural and this, ours is the Cochrane Agricultural Society. So I think it's $12 to be a member for a year. And then you get to participate in the fair and you get to win prizes and they have like a potluck uh, supper at the end of the year and give away at all the prizes and stuff. And it's a lot of fun and it gives me something to do. And like I said, I only wanted a couple of these beets for supper tonight and the rest I'm gonna put in jars so with beets, cut the tops off, leave at least two inches. Do not remove this and don't try and peel them. We're gonna wash these up really good and throw them right in the pot like they are. If you cut that off there and that off there, your color is gonna go into your water. You're gonna try and keep as much of the red beet color as you can. So we're gonna wash those up, trim them up, and when they're boiled, I'll bring you back and show you how to make them into pickles. Okay, so I've got them all cleaned up and trimmed. Now, it is gonna take about an hour for that water to get up to temperature, boil, and to make those Nice and tender, you just punch them with a fork and if they, if it slides, the fork slides into them really nice and easy, then they're done. And then I will come back to you when I'm at that point. Okay, it's almost showtime here. I, there's the pot with the beets in them. They've been boiling away. I just uh, stuck a fork in them and nice and tender, so they're ready for me to dump into a colander. I've got the canner here, because I'm using the 500 milliliter jars. I filled it up to here. So when I take this off the burner, I'm putting the canner on that burner. And over here, I've got the brine for the pickled beets. And the brine is three and three quarters cups of white vinegar, one and a half cups of water, one and a half cups of sugar 
and four and a half tablespoons of pickling spice, which I've put in my little thingy there. And I just attach it to the side. So we're gonna stir that all up. We're gonna warm it up. Like I said, it was just vinegar, water, sugar, and pickling spice. So I'll turn that on and get that warmed up and we're good to go. Okay, now it's time to handle these really hot beets. Just put a little cold water over them and squeeze them. Look at that. Did you see that? Completely peeled. A little bit of cold water. Just lightly press. Ooh, that one's hot. And everything just slips off. Isn't that a lot easier than trying to peel these before they're cooked? Now I'm just going to chop them up into little cubes and put them into a measuring cup. Okay, about that big and hopefully I get about 10 cups. Okay, it's almost show time. I've got the beets all chopped up here. They're still warm. The jars are almost sterile. The water's been boiling for a couple of minutes. So in my brine over here, I'm gonna put a lid on it because you don't want it to evaporate, but you're gonna let that boil gently for 15 minutes. By the time that is the 15 minutes is up, you will have all of these pickled beets, pickle or the beets in the jars ready to put the brine in. Okay, so I've got all the beets in the jars, topped it up with the brine. Now I'm gonna water bath can it for uh, 30 minutes because it's a, a low acid food and you're using the 500 jars, 30 minutes process time for this. And I always make one and a half times the amount of brine that I need for a recipe, recipe, what it says I need for a recipe, because I've made it before and then you run out of brine. So what do you do with this extra brine, you say? <laughs> Boil some eggs, peel them, put them in a jar, cover them with this brine, and you've got pickled eggs too. See you in 30 minutes. Well, here we go. They're still warm to the touch. Let's take, take the bands off and clean them all up. And look at that. Oh, look at all that goodness. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. Love you all.